Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. In this little video series, I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully. I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it. All the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description. And now let's get started. In this video, we're having a look at how to sew a buttonhole on your sewing machine to make it extra easy. So first I'm lifting up my foot here and then I need to change over my foot. Now I take my buttonhole foot and I'm going to insert the button in the back here so that my sewing machine or the foot knows exactly how large to make the buttonhole and I'm clicking it in here and now I'm pulling the thread through the little hole in the buttonhole sewing foot pulling it through to the underside now I'm marking my fabric where I want my hole to be and then I'm aligning the horizontal line and the vertical line with the red markings on the buttonhole foot as you can see here. And now I need to pull down this little lever here and put it behind that little knobbly thing on the sewing foot and this will let the sewing machine know how wide and how long to sew the buttonhole. I'm selecting number 26 and I'm making the stitch width a little bit more narrow so ev that everything will be just a little bit nicer and neater and there won't be so many little gaps in the stitches but you can play around with that and I always recommend sewing a little test buttonhole before actually sewing it onto your project because once that you get it wrong once you get it wrong it's really really hard to undo those stitches okay and now the sewing machine did its job and now we're going to pull the threads through to the underside of the project. I could cut it off too, but I don't know. I don't want any funny tails here. So it's best to just take the thread and pull it through to the underside, tie them off and cut off the fabric. The, the thread, sorry. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just going to repeat that for the other threads. And then we are done with our buttonhole. That's what it looks like. Now we just need to open it up because it's still all closed. So I'm taking my seam ripper and I'm carefully slitting the fabric here to open it up for the buttonhole. And let's see if the button fits. Yes, it does perfectly. Ah, oh, that's so satisfying to see. <laughs> Okay, and I also want to try a few other buttonhole stitches on my sewing machine and see how that goes. And I'm just using the default settings now. I didn't adjust any stitch length or stitch width. Just want to see what it looks like. There we go. I'm just sewing a few more. And I don't really have to guide the fabric or anything. The feed dogs and the buttonhole foot are doing all the work. All I have to do is pull down the foot pedal. And that's all our buttonholes. And as you can see, some of them look a bit weird, so I had to adjust 
the thread tension for some of them and then they would work perfectly and one of them I ran out of bobbin thread so I had to restart that's why it looks a bit funny in the next video we're having a look at how to sew a button to your project on your sewing machine I hope I see you in that video again Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.